And honestly, this living agriculture, as I speak now, it is in, part it is in partnership with Adonai Royal Gardens. Luachi, tu kola naba ntu wabeta ago kola. Tu kola naba ntu wabali na ubi wakola. Because I would have taken you to Mukono. Jenny in a fish pond like this. But the reason why we are here, we are intending and expecting to be organizing workshops, agricultural education workshop, capacity building regarding fish farming, regarding poultry, regarding rabbitry, regarding livestock, regarding piggery. Here, expecting that Gwebobo ya gala kuja momose muka tiyo guwa wano Tufa kujiri ya guwa mtu walo netu kaya na Butuna abasa bo muso mwondi guze kubeira wano Make sure the money you have to pay It will exceed 80,000 Why 80? Other activities you would desire to do here Will be on that very amount Butuga ambe mitu walo munaana Omanya bu manya Nti mitwale ebiri ja training e mitwale omukaga za event siendala bizi bakola zeza waya target shooting event sinyinge eziri wano so tubagamba ekintu kimu if you are viewing we are promoting and exposing who we are working with i remind you you have been seeing him in a different color and you have been seeing me in a different color. But the reason why we have dressed like this, it is you to remind you that it is not all the time that we have to be in suits. No. Because from here... We are in the farm. We are in the farm. <laughs> and from here, we are going to be fishing. Of course. We don't expect again to put off our tie and sweets. For sure, doctor. Eh? This is a pond that supplies my kitchen, my diner. You see? On weekly basis. I do harvest weekly stocks from this valley. I don't go to Busega Market, I don't go to Mukono, I don't go to, to Owino. Neither Gaba. I, ca from here. I come here. I come here. Bako Chokora to create jobs. Bako chokola to add to your earning. Bako chokola mga tu sinzira nebio vye njini ebye tagisa okubanti embele no jetu kolera mu na uo sobolo jite gera. Nina meseji jenja gala ingini ya tubuli le. Luachi nkibotuba tu sima echi diba chino what could be the depths? And where do we start? And where does it end? Is it flat? Is it in steps? How is it dug? I expect my people to be asking that. Yeah. Yeah, with the, with the pond. Uh, the pond depth. The pond depth is inclines and dikes. This is a agricultural term. Diking is diking is a is a in the format of slanting. Yeah, is a is a is a, is a type of slanting. A type of shaping given to the pond wall. And now the floor based benching. The floor based benching is determining according to the length of the pond and the purpose of that pond. The purpose now is determined by the, the number of fish the pond will carry, we will, will hold. Uh, the depth itself will determine what process will be used for fishing. Mm. Will, it, will it be will it be a, a, a motor a motor boat? Will it be manually? Now in the construction during the construction process, the depth matters a lot, and all these this requires now 
technically for one who is willing to do the same business to come to the office direct you meet me in person see my face properly get to the office you meet me together with the doctor we work together all you need is at hand the goal you're looking for is at hand achieve it as early as it is so that you may cut the cost of all that you have been going through thank you so much doctor now i would know or i would desire not me but who is viewing can you tell them what could be the meters from the level we are seeing to the floor uh from the level we are seeing mm. uh to the floor base of this pond yes uh from the from from the adjacent ground level where we are yes the total depth is 1.5 meters 1.5 yeah is 1.5 oh i i i happen to make it 1.5 meters from the adjacent ground level to the total floor base uh depending on the space i had you see how special as it is how mm. special as it is mm. meaning if i had a small piece to maintain the temperature of my water i would even go beyond even 2 meters such that the underlying subsoil after excavation supports the freezing of the water supports the balancing of the temperature of my water if i had a small space i would make a deeper one than even 1.5 depth for such a purpose but because i had a spacious land i had no reason to go more than 1.5 meters the land is open is spacious enough every flow is balanced by the wind since it has no inlet i mean since it has the inlet but the flow is controlled the flowing is controlled the flow is controlled the inlet and the in and, and the outlet is controlled to maintain the volume of water required in the pond is it the same depth from the inlet of water to the outlet of water no why the depth the, the depth <laughs> depth differs <laughs> <laughs> because it? our viewers would yes. desire to know yes is it the same depth from where it starts to where it ends no from from where it starts is 1 meter and where it ends is 1.5 meters since the the method of my harvest is always manual yeah yeah i use the net and i use the brothers and sisters around we do this neighbors around comes to learn how to harvest and how to do the same business so we do this as a fun now and yet i'm making business <laughs> I'm on business but neighbors comes around to help in Davis and to know more about what I'm doing. I it is a business to me. So that's why I've been telling you our viewers that what you need is the knowledge. What you need is the skill because we are doing this not simply because we are government employees neither that we are paid by viewers but our broad objective is to see that if you have any small space you can invest in fish farming do this you'll never regret in life two if we talk of an employment this fish pond it employs over four people you had it before for security there are two now if it comes to feeding them there are two such that they are not overworked they know what they want and you always being advised from get advice from me always use that one who have the heart and who have the interest in what he or she is going to do i said before we have three 
types of employment. One, we have that one, which is by force. We have that one by chance. And we have that one by choice. If I'm to be interviewing people whom I'm going to employ, I always ask them, what type of employment would you desire to have? Is it by choice? Is it by chance? Is it by force? If you tell me that it is by choice, by chance, you get off my office because you don't know what you want to do. This is the reason why my brother here, instead of being in the office there, we are in this direct sunshine, such that he has the interest and the choice of sharing the knowledge with the viewers of Living Agriculture. I thank you very much. Thank you, Doctor. I would desire to know, how do you feed them? And what type of feeding do you feed them? Of course. You know, every living thing does not survive <laughs> without, without food. <laughs> they must eat. We too must eat, you know. <laughs> oh, there, are, there are different types of varieties of food that they always feed on. Okay. Uh, number one, uh, they love green so much. Greens. Green so much. You see them here? Yes. And they, they have been feeding them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You have been seeing as I was feeding them. The second? Second one is the maize bran. They do consume this so much. Maize bran or broken maize or broken or mixed maize. feeds is not only for poultry and livestock, it's in the fish section. Then the third. The third and the best is the maggots. Do you also plant them? I don't plant them, but since I, you know, I have a mega, mega poultry farm here, you can see behind me, you can see. I have more than 10,000 birds. I have over 400 pigs. The sheep, the rabbits are at hand, the ducks. So the remains of these, the remains of these animals yes. is what I recycle, is collected in the process of, of, the, of the cleaners, of my workers, of cleaning the rooms where these animals are, where these birds are, are kept. These, rem these animal remains and the birds remains are kept Sometimes. For sometimes, then in a compost become, pit, they become the feeds of fish. When, when, when they are collected, the, 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 fresh, the fresh remains, the fresh fish, the fresh, <laughs> the fresh feces is, 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 is picked from where the animals reside, from where the birds are kept, and it's kept in a compost pit. The, this compost process is kind of like a fermentation process, turning these remains. In the process of fermentation, maggots will be produced, meaning there is no waste in my farm. I turn the animals and birds' remains by, by composting in, in, in my compost pit. When, 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 maggot, when, when maggot is produced out of that, turns back to feed my fish. In every six months, I do harvest the volume that no one can contain in this central. Every six months? Every six months, I do harvest the volume of fish in this pond that no one can touch me around. There is one point you have made. How long does it take to harvest fish in this fish pond? Uh, strictly, I always harvest after every six months. Six to eight months, strictly. Abatulava, ebenyanya bikulira mu miezi ena kumukaga kumunana. Whereby, nti bobo butadde munga buto, okufuna eche nyanja eche gasa, chivalire miezi mukaga, engege nga engege, Miezi munana ngege gule mitwale sat na yenga ne webiri watunu so we should not start lamenting and talk about poverty this poverty comes when you are doing nothing 
chino ntero chigamba amwe musoga by tribe but in Uganda by residence. The biggest challenge we have in Central here, there is nothing we sell out of outside our region. That's why we are always complaining and lamenting of Uganda for to live in you. Mm. But yet most of the swamps, for those who are near these swamps, instead of developing them into such products, they are pouring just water there. I mean soil constructing houses, not knowing that if we don't protect the environment, honestly speaking, wherever we are going, we are going into disaster. Yeah. For deciding and choosing living agriculture as your number one channel on YouTube. Now I'm very proud when you come to our office there, we have four sections. We have that section of construction. And if it comes to construction, we have all types of engineers who need to be consulted regarding the services you desire. We have the section of agriculture. That agriculture covers all agricultural processes and sectors. Then we have that one of life skills. And if it comes to life skills, making books, making cakes, making bath soap, embroidery, tailoring, all that section. And you know who is handling that is your hajat. And if it comes to the agriculture section, there where Isa comes. And if it comes to engineering, we have two people, himself and Mark and Suvoga. They are all professional civil engineers. And if it comes to seeing what you are seeing, the person who is answerable to that is Brian Mutebi. I thank you, our general manager. Thank you so much. We thank, thank, you, thank, you, thank you. our viewers. All the questions normally are most welcome and comments. Whenever you want any service, please feel free to send a text message. But I always remind you, my number is on WhatsApp. My number is registered on mobile money. What if you send me like 1,000 for water to drink? Because all the knowledge we are giving you, for free. we are sharing at no cost. And what we need is to transform your lives. Once you get money, we shall have time to come and leisure up here. We eat, we share everything we want. So, please, be blessed, contact us. You had him, the government officials, the NGOs, the other organizations, and the funders and the donors. If it requires construction section, please, he's there. If it requires agriculture, and agricultural section are available. And if it covers and it comes to video and photography coverage, Brian is there. What we need to do is to transform the lives of our community. One time, one day, if God calls us all, we shall be in the sunshine like this. And the question we shall have to answer during your lifetime. What did you do towards the community's development? We have done it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank doctor. you for being with us. Thank you so much. Thank you for sharing. Thank you so that much. we have not paid. You're welcome. We thank to Mumbeja, Madam, for accepting us, for believing in us, and loving us. Plus the entire family you are with is there. 
we appreciate and we pray the almighty God such that if we get people like you, we shall transform the lives of the community. Our brother Martin in UK, we have Mr. Charles in UK, we have Hajat in Saudi Arabia, we have very many, Connie and Costa, who are in Denmark, Hope in Israel, we have Simeon in Somalia, we have Joseph in Madagascar, we have Gertrude, who is in Liberia, more so our sister Nadia Kamara. This is the madam who donated our camera, just donated above all is a non-Ugandan. I will always continue talking and calling her name because whatever you are viewing, everything you are seeing, it is from her effort yeah. and deciding to donate a camera which is worth 1,500 US dollars. It is not very easy. It's not. But now Uganda will be able to get it. And I don't know what to call it. I don't know what to call it. I don't know what to call it. I don't know what Please. There's somebody who sent me some money for the camera. Thank you very much. Message received. Mr. David in the leader there. Thank you for your construct for your contribution. This is the video, this is the channel, and I remind you, Adonai Royal Gardens. It is located in Nyanama. Moje mutu wagire, mutuweko sente, garden ye yongere, tufunene ebi singa wano. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, doctor. You're welcome. I'm glad.